This week on Daily Architecture News. Little Island is a recently completed public park in New York that shelters three performance venues on the Hudson River. Designed by architects Heatherwick Studio and landscapers MNLA, the park is a haven for people and wildlife, a green oasis held above the water by sculptural planters and located just a short walk across a gangplank from Manhattan's Lower West Side. Heatherwick Studio envisaged the pier as a complete experience, a single cohesive object rather than unrelated elements stuck together. Instead of sticks holding up a deck, the piles have become the deck. They extend into planters that join together to create the park's surface. The height of the piles varies to create the park's contours. The corner of the pier is lifted to allow sunlight to reach the marine habitat and the edge falls to define hills, viewpoints and to carve out a natural amphitheatre for performances. In this way, the pier and its supporting structure have become one. At the top of each pile, planters are filled with more than 100 different species of indigenous trees and plants, which encourage birds and pollinators and are able to thrive in New York's climate. A forgotten 1950s property in Malibu was temporarily transformed into Kelly Wurstler's vintage summer surf shack. Formerly owned by American actor Carol O'Connor, the timber-lined residence had been left empty for many years before Kelly transformed it for her family's sun-kissed surfing holiday. Original interior elements of the home remained intact, such as the kitchen and bathroom appliances that function perfectly, and the shag carpet, which Kelly replaced with seagrass. Vintage and contemporary design pieces were then introduced to breathe new life into the property and to imagine its unknown history. Items were sourced from local antique shops, while Kelly also pulled a number of pieces from her warehouse in downtown Los Angeles, a treasure trove of vintage finds collected during her many years of travel. Acclaimed French decorator and interior architect Pierre Yovanovitch has debuted his very own furniture label. Released under the brand name Pierre Yovanovitch Mobilier, The announcement coincides with the reveal of Pierre's first 45-piece collection, including lighting, seating and accessories, which all celebrate his signature style. The venture marks a significant shift for the designer, who had previously reserved furniture production to limited edition releases, or one-off pieces that he designed for private clients. Now Pierre's work can reach a broader audience, through both a dedicated online store and a boutique in Paris opening later this year. A former bank in Stockholm became world famous in 1973 when a robbery occurred, a hostage situation unfolded and the term Stockholm Syndrome was coined. The storied site is now home to Swedish fashion label Acne Studios. After the bank closed, several interventions added a series of layers over the years covering up the original bones of the building. The latest renovation by Spanish firm Architectura G sought to revive the splendour of the solid neoclassical architecture that is such a hallmark of the 20th century. The designers returned the space to its essential monochrome features, predominantly chiselled from real and faux marble, and paved the way for Acne Studios to showcase their wares. Shoppers now journey through three rooms which are connected by columns, culminating with an abstract colonnade that opens up to the fitting rooms. Elsewhere, furniture built from stone and linear steel light fixtures contribute to the monolithic atmosphere. You can read about all of these stories and more online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.